Salutation Ikurikis and welcome back to another video and today we are doing some more FNAF news. I know it's a little dated but I don't care. I wanted to review it for myself because I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first image we have right here looks like it's part of uh, Monty's area and it looks like it's one of the golf holes that you're going to have to go through. Um, because uh, it's a pretty, I'm fairly certain it's a golf course, which is the way that it looks by, and you can even see over there golf course, so it looks like it is going to be a golf course for Monty's area. It looks like what you expect for Monty to have. It has like palm trees everywhere, some nice lighting, and the golf course looks really well. Um, this might be the actual animatronic as well, but I personally think it's going to be like uh, one of the golf areas that you're going to have to go through. It might be a little mini game they might have to do, and if that is the case, that'd be awesome to see some mini games in the new security breach because I think that would be really awesome and very unique, especially to add to like add something to the old formula of the FNAF game since all of them do have mini games. Okay. This next image here, we have uh, Glaremark Freddy's area, so you can see the gigantic star on the roof. I'm pretty sure this is where he's mostly going to be performing, or somewhere you're going to have to go and explore to see if you can find anything about him. Or maybe this is where a boss fight might happen. Who knows, because it says Freddy Fazbear, th uh, Freddy Fazbear there on the side with his lightning bolts. He has a bunch of merch um, everywhere with balloons and plushies and uh, there's even like a little area where it looks like uh, he would be getting ready and there's also a little mini stage where he might be performing there who knows okay next is that vent ventilation area that we uh, saw that we had to go through um in the gameplay trailer that i reacted to so make sure you guys go check out that video but um, we actually get a good frozen image look at it and it looks like there's wires everywhere. It looks like this is where a chase fight or um, part is going to be happening where um, an animatronic is going to be chasing you and you uh, have to run away and find the right areas and you're going to have to go to the right spot to get to the next part of the game that you're going to have to go through. Or it's you're going to be having to chase down an animatronic them themselves and you're gonna have to lead that to a boss fight if boss fights are in this game which that would also be really cool and unique for a fnaf game and the scenery looks really awesome it looks very dark and creepy and it looks very high quality that's one th thing i will say about security breach is that it looks incredible next up we have a new character that rockstar chica would be terrified of we have the caution wet floor uh, robot over there. He looks a little, he looks pretty cute, and he's next to like a soda machine with a lineup. I have a feeling that this is gonna be more of like a chill area to go through when you're uh, going through the game. Like, uh, who knows? You might actually be able to befriend this little guy and like having to use him in like a mini game because, or like a little like fight scene or chase scene because one of the characters might have something that Rockstar Chica has and might be afraid of wet floor signs. So you, or one of them follows the rules and when they see that they'll avoid it. You just might have to use him for something because they wouldn't show him just for the fun of it. So there's something to him that we're going to find out in the game. And I'm very excited because he's very adorable and I'm very ex excited to see what this character can do. Okay, so we have Roxanne Wolf's area. It looks extremely nice. It looks like um, that you're, there's going to be like a racing mini game or something uh, with her because it looks like she's very much into racing because you see the tires and the wrenches on the wall, see the starting flag and Roxanne's face everywhere and her little uh, keyboard that she has. It's very nicely done. There's another star on the top. Uh, the LED lighting looks extremely well here and the coloring, it just looks like it is a retro place to uh, visit and it really shows what security breach is trying to go for so next we have this image called monty's gator golf and the, so the thing about the golf course that means it's true it is going to be a golf course and there's going to be some rides you're probably going to have to avoid monty quite a bit here because i have a feeling that monty's going to be one of the biggest threats in this game because he looks like he's going to be an aggressive one um not unlike the others like uh, don't get me wrong the other ones do look scary but i think monty's gonna be like the most aggressive one out of the four um and there's a nice staircase over there to lead you to the golf course and there's a nice like little play area and like there's even a little sign that says let's party it looks very well done it looks well it looks like he lives in the wilderness it looks like he lives in a swamp where you would see a gator and you can really tell that they put a lot of effort into this game 
Last and definitely not least is an image of a broken Glamrock Chica um, that you can see in like this sewer area. So I think this happens later throughout the game. I think this might be the aftermath of a boss fight that you're going to have to do. Or this is where you're going to have to find out that like when an animatronic fails, this is what happens to them. It could be one of the two, but um, I have a feeling that they did not show this for nothing because this will be happening in the game and I'm excited to see what it brings because this is a very cool scenery that I don't think we've seen yet. Like the um, sewers where like you just see a broken animatronic and like it's just like a sketchy old sewer. And not gonna lie, this looks pretty creepy. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all these images in the comments below. And with that being said, that's going to do it um, for this video. There's still a lot more images and stuff. And if you guys want to check them out for yourself, a link in the description below to have a look at all these images for yourself. So you guys will be able to have a look and uh, see the images and have your own opinions on them. And just have a, have a look on what the game's going to look like. So link in the description below to have a look. And yeah. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on a few of them because I just wanted to go over this because I want to bring more uh, more FNAF news to my channel as well as Piggy, etc, etc. But I think this game is going to be extremely amazing. It's, it's looking really good so far. The quality looks great. The graphics look great. And the voice actor looks great. And the characters. It's just I think it's going to be an amazing game that is going to bring a lot of new exciting things to the table of FNAF. So fingers crossed. But with that being said, that's going to do it for today's uh, video. Give me your guys' uh, thoughts and opinions in the comments below of this news video. And if you guys learned anything new, please uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss a video from me. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nickrick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll the credits!